This is Iratron. Thank you very much for joining us. Tonight we will continue going through another tier of uh, our all items map for the game Terraria on the Xbox 360 edition. Anyway, so previous videos we went through all the weapons, we went through all the armor. Now it is time to scope out furniture, miscellaneous items, seeds, and magic potions. So let's go through the very first chest. So, I have thrown these uh, Souls of Night and everything up here, but we do have Souls of Sight, Blight, Flight, Might, Night, and Fright, yes, of course. We also have um, building items, so we have the Tinker's Workshop, and uh, this allows you to combine accessories, which is pretty cool. I just like the way it looks. We also have the Cooking Pot, we have the Mithril Anvil, so you can use this to craft Mithril and Adamantite Bars interesting we also have the adamantite forge so this way you can smelt adamantite ore we have uh the wooden platform that's easy to make i know you guys know how to do that you have the bottle you can find those by the dozen but just by searching through uh chests and that kind of thing we also have the furnace which allow you to smelt ore we have the loom uh, which you can use apparently to make clothing i've never done that myself we have the keg so you can make some ale we have the uh, workbench. This is one of the very first things that you uh, craft when you start playing this game. We also have the iron anvil, hell forge, which uh, you know can be placed just about anywhere. We also th with the anvil allows you to uh, work with metals, wooden table, wooden chair, all pretty basic. We also have torches, candles, chandeliers, tiki torches, skull lantern, which I've never used. Can candelabra, the Chinese lanterns, which I, which I think are freaking awesome. We also have the silver chandelier. We have the water candle, which I think is really bizarre. Lamp post, more souls, copper chandelier, red light, chain lantern, green light, blue light. Sounds like we're playing a game, doesn't it? We also have wooden chest, shadow chest, tombstones. We have books, beds, which you can use to uh, set your spawn points. You know, so if you want to spawn underground or something like that, drop a bed, press B on it, change your spawn point. More bottles, clay pots, coral, which is nice for decoration, right? We have keys. We have gold chests. We have a piggy bank. We also have um, shadow key, which allows you to open all shadow chests. Those are super cool. We have the uh, sticky glow sticks. We have uh, doors, signs, more tables, more chairs. We have the glow sticks. I like these. Um, so when you're underwater and you're drilling your way down, mining and all that good stuff, man, that's super duper handy. It works quite well. We also have the uh, tattered cloth and the safe. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So we have uh, items you can plant ranging from acorns so you can have trees. We have the crystal shard, boulder. Watch out for those. Sunflowers. Never use them really. We have the uh, corrupt seeds. We have mushroom grass seeds. Grass seeds, grass seeds, jungle grass seeds. Seeds for days. All right, cobwebs. We have the rotten chunk. Looks tasty. Looks disgusting. We have iron chain. We have the stinger, which I've never used. Guys, tell me exactly what you should be uh, using that for. I'd love to hear more about it. We have the lens. We have the black lens. Sounds scary. Jungle spores. Hook. So you can make a, you know, a chain or something like that. Some kind of grappling hook. That's super awesome. We have the vile mushroom. We have silk, leather, worm, or the worm tooth. We have the ant lion mandible. Yep, with vine. Black thread, purple thread, mug, bowl, and illegal gun parts. I really like the uh, what it says there, banned in most places. Kind of like here in the United States where everybody seems to be going after our weapons. Yeah, those guys are not on, on our sides, that's for sure. We also have wooden arrows, cursed bullets, musket ball, yep, meteor shot, cursed arrow, flaming arrow, bowload of those, unholy arrow. We have the crystal bullet, silver bullet, Hellfire arrows, holy arrows, the jester's arrow, 
which man, all of those guys are pretty wild. The uh, the wooden beasties, you know, fairly weak uh, damage. You know, once you get into like the musket balls, you're looking at about seven. The meteor shot nine. Uh, some of the, like the cursed arrows have a fourteen uh, damage ratio. Uh, looks like unholy arrows and uh, the silver bullets hovering about eight and nine. Uh, yeah, so it looks like the way to go is definitely going to be the cursed arrows for some reason. All right, let's keep on moving. So we have our boss spawns. If you'd like to do battle with the goblin army, army, just let me know. I can hook you up with some of these guys and you'll be in business. So we have goblin battle army. We have the snow globe, which summons the frost legion, which I tell you guys, avoid like the plague. They're infuriating. I, I, ah, awful. And we also have the uh, the eye of Cthulhu. If you want to summon that beastie, which is, looks amazing. We also have the Mechanical Eye, which summons the twins. Guys, if you've never fought them, uh, don't. That's my advice to you. Um, and if you refuse to listen to me, uh, make certain you have a boatload of friends available so you can take them out. Because they're insanely hard. That's my opinion. Um, Okram. We also have the, uh, the Mechanical Skull, which summons Skeleton Prime. Yeah. Pretty crazy indeed. We we'll also have the uh, Mechanical Eye, which summons the Twins. Talked about that, Beastie. We have the uh, Mechanical Worm, which summons the Destroyer. That one's super awesome. I recommend you do it. We have the Slime Crown, which will summon the King Slime. We have the summoner, Summons the Eater of the Worlds. That's worm food. And, uh, yeah. So that's all of our boss spawns there. If you need something like that, post down below. Alright, so, torches, we got them. Ranging from blue... We have the Cursed Torch, which can be placed in water. How cool is that? We have uh, Demon Torch, Purple Torch, Green Torch, Green Torch. Green must be popular. Um, let's see, Red, which looks pretty wild. We also have a Bucket and some more uh, Boss Spawn stuff. All right, so we have Blink Root Seeds. Couldn't tell you what they do. Day Bloom beats me. Fire Blossom, I have no idea. Water Leaf beats me. Moon Glow. I'm assuming that's kind of what you find in like some of the mushroom bios, biomes that are like, glowing. I don't know though. Yeah, if you happen to post below, deathweed seeds. We have the hallowed seeds, just the seeds, which can be shot via the uh, blowpipe, right? Yeah, never actually used one of those, I, but I did find one just the other day when we were playing the uh, survival terraria. Check out that video if you haven't already done so. All right, so we have the archery potion. This will increase uh, your arrow speed and damage by 20%. That's pretty cool. Hunter Potion, which shows the uh, location of enemies for 5 minutes. We have uh, the Battle Potion. This increases the enemy spawn rate. That sounds like a nightmare. We have uh, Gills Potion. My son was just talking about this the other day, where you can uh, use this to breathe underwater for 2 minutes. We have the Feather Fall. This slows your falling speed. We have, uh, let's see, we've gone through all those cool guys. Gravitation. Potion, so this allows you to control gravity for three minutes, and it looks insane. Thorns Potion, uh, so attackers who make contact you, with you will take damage. We have the Swiftness Potion, 25% increase in movement speed, lasts for four minutes. Regeneration Potion, provides life regeneration for five minutes. Obsidian, provides immunity to lava, that's cool, and uh, pretty freaking helpful if you ask me. Alright, so continuing... Through our list of potions here, we have Water Walking Potion. Allows you the ability to walk on water. Invisibility Potion. Yep. Magic Potion. So this increases um, your magic damage by 20%. We have the Spelunker Potion. Shows the location of treasure and ore. We also have the uh, Iron Skin. This will increase your defense by 8. It's pretty awesome. Alright, so we have Magic Regeneration Potion. Take a guess what that does. Shine Potion. This emits an, an aura of light. I just like the sounds of that. We we'll also have the Night Owl Potion. This will increase your night vision. Bowl of Soup. Minor improvement to all stats for 10 minutes. We have the Bowl of Soup. Both of those are the same. We have the Ale. Not really sure what that does. Okay. Two remaining. What else do we have here, guys? So, we have... These are materials that you can use. The Shark Fin. Feather. Fire Blossom. Water Leaf. Deathweed, yep. Day Bloom, Moon Glow. This is the Light Shard, and it's sometimes carried by creatures in light deserts. Okay, so the Cursed Flame, not even water can put this thing out. We have um, the Unicorn Horn, yep. Pixie Dust, 
Cactus. We also have the uh, Dark Shard, sometimes carried by creatures in uh, corrupt deserts. Blink Root and the Day Bloom. Also, furniture wise, we have the dresser, we have the bench, the piano, cooking pot, bathtub, trash can. Uh, we were playing uh, one community build session where somebody just littered the place with trash cans. It was pretty funny. Toilet, grandfather clock, mannequins, bookcase, the throne, not the toilet, folks. We have the barrel, pink vase, blue banner, red, yellow, and green banners. We also have the uh, dart trap. That's always fun. Crystal ball and the disco ball. Yahoo! Guys, hope you enjoyed the video. You know what to do if you want some items, folks. Post in the comment section down below. Make certain that you like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And uh, make certain that you promote the videos. You know, post it on uh, Craigslist. I'm just kidding. Post it on Facebook and uh, Twitter if that's your thing. And guys, have a wonderful night. We'll talk to you soon. Hoorah! Ooh, rock like this, rock like that. Go ahead and get your grown man on. Drop it like this, drop it like that. Go ahead and get your grown woman on. Give me a bag of good and a bunch of drinks. Cause everyone too tough to be rocking like this. So come on. Shake the load up. Shake the come on. Shake loose, shake the I got a fit for yet and I can't miss my chance. Cause shorty looking too good with the way she dance. So come on. Shake the load up. Come on. Shake loose, shake loose.